What's happening guys? Just wrapped up another podcast and now time to go back in the streets. We're going to go cover the principles that I cover in this book, The 100 Doors, why cash flow is king and why you got to get in the streets to look at real estate. You can't just assume that all the stuff that you're getting online is correct information. You have to go verify it. The information and intel you get online is only as good as the people that enter it into the MLS that gets picked up by Redfin and Zillow and all those other platforms. You have to go put boots on the ground and look at these properties with your own eyes to make wise decisions for you, your family, and your investors. Stay tuned. All right, guys, back at it again with Real Estate Hunters. This just so happens to be a property we're getting ready to put on market. Who's this good looking gentleman? <laughs> so people ask me all the time, when you're doing these investment properties and you're doing these flips and you're doing these projects, who sells them? Well, we have a team of people that sell them. But we put our sign, we do marketing our way, and uh, come us out and take a look. I've got a fun story about this house. So, this property is very, very echoey because of the floors, but this is, an, again, a mid-century modern, really, really, really cool property. When we acquired it, it was disgusting. It was literally owned by a hoarder, like legit hoarder. There was stuff stacked to the ceilings. There was carpet everywhere that was disgusting. So everything got ripped out. Ceilings were scraped. So this property is very big and expansive. We just finished the termite. It's getting, uh, it's getting staged tomorrow. So there's gonna be furniture and paintings and beds. We stage our properties one, so it doesn't sound like this, but two, it shows the clients and it shows the potential buyers where stuff could go. Like, oh, that makes sense. The couch goes here, the TV goes there. You give them a little bit of vision because most people don't have that. So I try to help them with that. So all new windows, these are incredible. Somebody trying to break in probably. Not anymore. So it has a really cool, gigantic mid-century pool. The pool is one of my favorite parts of the whole entire property, which we're gonna go see in a minute. Follow me to the kitchen. So again, you guys literally hear me talk about removing walls all the time. That's what we did. Ripped down a wall and made a big, huge, giant kitchen. This is technically a dining room. I'm gonna put a huge table here. The fixtures are gonna come down with the chairs. It opens up into the huge backyard. These are the bedrooms. Bedroom one. Big, giant, beautiful bedroom. New floors. All new windows. Big, humongous laundry room. Cabinets, cupboards, washer and dryer that actually goes into the garage. Another gigantic bedroom. All the bedrooms in this property are 12 by 15 or bigger. Those are huge bedrooms. Bathroom here, another bedroom here, fully remodeled. New plumbing, new electric, new AC, all kinds of new stuff. We actually did this for less than 100 grand. The whole property with appliances and everything. We got it for a really good price. It's gonna hit the market for a million dollars in three days. So we're probably gonna make 170 to 200 grand once everything is said and done. Good property, good buy. So this is one of my favorite areas of the home. It has a huge pool as you can see. There's another entire backyard around the corner. And where we're standing right now is a giant slab. This can be completely tore out and put grass in. We decided to leave it the way it is because people might want to park an RV back here or pull down the long, huge driveway and be able to put whatever they want back here. So we left it up to them. Having vision 
and understanding your budget when you're flipping these houses is so important. Like the roof is an incredible condition. This house is ready to go. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you have something that's horrific and you put a little bit of money into it and how you can turn it around very, very quickly. This is a great neighborhood, amazing school district, and it is on it. And that's the doorbell. Someone's probably trying to take a look. So this is the master that got completely gutted. What's cool about what's cool about this particular master suite is it actually has a sliding glass door that opens up to the front. So you can enter in from this little wall after you park your car and even come through the first part of the house. So this could actually be like a maid's quarters. This could be somebody, you know, it could be like an in-law flat because you have your own private side yard. You have your own huge bathroom, huge closet. So this thing can actually work for any size family. 